Although we are far away from the southern border here, the impact of immigration is felt in Massachusetts as well. Yeah, with so many migrants in the region, local charities are asking for all the help in taking care of them. Our NBC 10's Carla Rojo reports from Drake It. For almost 15 years, Katie's Closet has helped 90,000 low-income students in schools all over Massachusetts and New Hampshire. Katie's Closet was created to solve a major problem and a, and a barrier to education, and that is access to clothing and basic necessities. But their CEO, Mickey Cockrell, says their SOS Urgent Response Program is experiencing unprecedented increase in special requests, especially since the governor declared a state of emergency last August amid the influx of migrants seeking shelter. Probably at the beginning of 2023, which you're asking, we might have been supporting 50 to 100 kids in a month. Um, now it would be more like weekly. She says that at one moment they had more than 1,000 children on the SOS urgent response wait list and were unable to fill orders due to lack of funding. It was tough to close your eyes at night knowing that there might be a child in need who is just wondering why they picked the short end of the straw. The International Institute of New England has recently served around 3,000 migrants, says their Lowell managing director, Caroline Rowe. Specifically making sure all those clients are connected with public cash assistance, food stamps, TFDC. Telling us that organizations like Katie's Closet are essential for the family she works with, especially since migrants are only getting around $530 a month. We cannot do refugee resettlement without a community and a network of organizations, other nonprofits, the schools, the health centers. So the hope is to get these packages to those schools in about 48 hours after the school requests them. So once the kid has it, they can expect things like socks, underwear, and at least two weeks worth of clothing for them to wear, as well as other basic necessities. Katie's Closet says that the best way to help is donating on their website. Reporting in Drake It, Carla Rojo, NBC 10 Boston.